In this video, I'm going to try to explain what is the difference between a pull up and pull down circuit for the Hall effect sensor. In this case, I am going to use a 3 wire Hall effect sensor as similar to these three here. As you can see, Hall effect sensors can have many different shapes and sizes. This one is a cam sensor. This one is a speed sensor. And lastly, this one is a crank sensor. Starting with a pull down type sensor. Here is the sensor, the ground, the constant power, and depending on the type of sensor, the voltage can vary. For this example, I am using 5 volts as the constant power. The signal wire and a resistor. The resistor here is used so that the signal wire can stay high until it's pulled down by the sensor and in this case high is 5 volts. Since a high effect sensor has a digital output meaning it only has a high or a low which is 5 volts or 0 volts. In this case, when the sensor do not detect a metal object or a tooth from a pulse cog, the voltage will stay high. Right here is 5 volts and 0 volts. The waveform should look like this. When the sensor does not detect anything, the voltage stays high. When it does detect an object, the voltage goes low and hence this is a pull down type circuit because the voltage is pulled down when the sensor is activated now for the pull up type circuit as similar to the pull down type circuit it works as the same way but inverted the resistor here is a pull down resistor it is used to keep the signal voltage low until the voltage is pulled up by the sensor. Now instead of the sensor pulling the circuit voltage down, the sensor this time pulls the voltage high when the sensor is activated.